While all the major racing series are underway, it's time for the locals to join in on all the fun. This weekend, many tracks in mid-Michigan are ready to put on a show for their die-hard race fans. Today, I went to Bertrand Speedway to see how everybody at the track is getting prepared for opening day. With the sound of engines and the smell of rubber, it only means one thing. Racing is back at Bertrand Speedway for its 75th anniversary. Today, drivers had one final opportunity for a test run and to tune their cars before the season opener this Friday. We've worked all winter long for this day and for opening day, and so we've got good weather today. Uh, looking forward to opening day here on Friday, and like I said, it's been a long six months at least preparing, so we're excited. For many drivers, it's a family tradition to race under the lights at local tracks. But when you have a chance to race with your grandpa, that makes it even more special. That's what it's like for 75-year-old Albert Liberta and Michael Jr., who is 21. Anytime I get door to door with them, I ain't gonna give them, I ain't gonna give them any edge. I ain't gonna yeah, give them I any know. slack. But Robin's racing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, but just I'm very happy, and hopefully we can battle side by side. Hopefully for a one-two finish this year. That would be that would be the be dream. Awesome. That's the be dream. Awesome. Right. Also new for Bertrand Speedway this season, they are officially a part of the NASCAR Weekly Series. Each driver who competes in the series gets $1 million in insurance, qualifies for regional and national points, and could be invited to a NASCAR banquet at the end of the season. And for the track, it could lead to major events. For the track in the future, it just opens the door to bigger races like uh, ARCA Race in, in 2024. and. Um, we're hoping to get the NASCAR Modifieds in and, and just whatever big series we can pull in. We, we have the, uh, the facility to do it, um, and now I, I think we can bring in some really big shows. Bertrand Speedway's season begins this Friday, but if you can't make that, there's many more in the area. Tri-City, Auto City, Silver Bullet, Mount Pleasant, and Crystal Speedways are all set to begin their season this weekend. That is, of course, if they can avoid the rain.